Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And today's bad boy we have is a Focke Wolf F190 D9. So the, the Dora, <laughs> so, as they were also known. Um, it was a development of the Luftwaffe one, F, uh, Focke Wolf 190 A series to develop a high altitude version. So um, that was the, they were fitted out, they removed the radial engines out of these and were fitted with uh, Junkers V12s, hence the... Uh, Longer nose here. It doesn't have the stubby radial engines of the standard F Focke Wolf 190s. So around uh, just over 1,800 of these were made. Like the D versions were made in all variants from uh, around August 1944 to uh, May 19, or actually March, March 1945. So this actual aircraft is the aircraft um, from uh, Major Gerhard Barkhorn. So we should. Uh, you should probably be aware of uh, that particular name. Um, as you can see, it's got a nice presentable sort of box and everything like that. It's got a little flap. Comes with all the accessories for wheels. Uh, wheels up or wheels down, which you know me, I will be putting it wheels down. So we'll get uh, Gerhard's uh, Focke Wolf 190 daughter out of the box. All right, let's see. I paid $40 for this. Um, that was with postage because I, I actually bought the second hand so I got a pretty good deal I reckon because this is Dragon Wings 172nd scale I reckon uh, I got a real good deal so uh, Gerhard uh, he was actually the second most successful uh, Luftwaffe pilot just behind our good old uh, friend uh, Eric Hartman who was uh, the Luftwaffe's top ace um, he he's only the second pilot to score over 300 victories, so he did end the war um, with 301 victories. So he, uh, Gerhard Barkhorn did get awarded the uh, Knight's Cross with oak leaves and swords after his 250th uh, aerial victory. Um, we'll see if we can get this open. He did survive the war. Um, he did uh, surrender to the Western Allies and uh, was taken prisoner by them and was released a year later. So if we can uh, have a look at the uh, details in there. As you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful rendition. Um, Dragon Wings, as you know, they do make great scale models, uh, die-cast models. So um, the effort and detail are very nice. So we'll get this bad boy as you can see the little landing gear there it's got a little uh, fuel tank option as well it's got little gun nubs and aerials and everything to be fitted as well so we will grab this bad boy out and um little, so it comes with uh it came with wheels up so we'll just move this out of the way for you and we'll show you this in all its glory um and th this is as it comes out of the box and the detail on it, I think, is very nice. There is no Gerhard in there. He is, uh, he is on holiday. He's on leave. But um, I, I think it's a very good rendition of his aircraft. Um, after the war, he did join the, the newly formed Luftwaffe. So he did uh, continue his aviation career. And um, he did uh, then retire in 1975. Um, so he did spend a lot of time flying. Um, so another another uh, German pilot that enjoyed his uh, flying immensely, and uh, but unfortunately uh, he was actually killed with his wife, um, his beloved wife Crystal, um, in a car accident in 1983. Um, and as you'll, you you should uh, notice on a lot of um, if you've seen a lot of Gerhard's aircraft, you will notice. Um, he, on his personal aircraft, he always used to write Crystal on there. Um, so his wife was very dear to him. And unfortunately, they both passed away in that car accident um, in 1983. But uh, we'll get stuck into this aircraft and have a real good look. The, um, the overall finish of it, I think, is fantastic. As you can see, the panel lines are beautiful. Even the colour in, in the wheel wells and everything is nice. Got some nice banding. Obviously, you got to fit the uh, landing gear, and um, I think it's yeah, definitely a pretty cool rendition. I'll have a little look in here, and you can see the panel lines nicely there. Engine detail and everything beautiful. Some nice colours. No, obviously no uh, little tail marking um, from these particular uh, manufacturers, 
which is, as I say, no, no real biggie. Um, it's just one of those things that uh, some manufacturers do, some manufacturers don't, as I say. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, movement in that tail runner, which is pretty cool. And, and same with the, the flaps on, on, the, on the rear rear wings as well. So you've got a little bit of movement there, which is a little bit of a novelty. Um, so what we'll do, and uh, the cockpit does slide, so you can have it in the open position if you want to uh, display that. Um, we'll see if we can get some um, details inside that cockpit to see if there's anything that's... Um, it's got the seat and some controls in there. It's, it's not too bad. But, but overall, I, I think the actual rendition itself, fair, fairly nice. Um, we'll just quickly chuck some things on to make it a bit more of a whole aircraft. So yeah, this is the Focke Wolf D9 in all its glory. I think it is a um, pretty excellent rendition, actually. It is a very nice rendition, I have to say. Um, I definitely think it's it's pretty cool. Um, you can have, as I said, at open or close. I, I think it's a very, very nice uh, rendition of this aircraft. And um, yeah, definitely, definitely think it's uh, a good one to get. Um, if you don't have a, uh, a Dora in your collection, I would recommend getting one of these. These are pretty cool. Uh, I think the quality of this uh, die cast is, is excellent. Paint finish is nice. Accuracy looks really good. Little accessories and everything like that is really nice. Um, I think it's, it's, it's quite good. Um, I would definitely say, yeah, I, I like it. I like it a lot. But, um, yeah. All right, I will leave it at that. And... Um, let you guys make your own mind up so once again this is by dragon wings it is 172nd scale die cast it is the focke wolf 190 d9 as flown by gerhard barkhorn the uh second most bestest ace of the luftwaffe during world war ii i'm using those words yes no, so yeah, he did end the war with uh, 301 aerial victories, uh, second only behind Eric Hartman. And uh, yeah, no, this is a very nice aircraft. So yeah, all right, you know the deal, as per usual, if you can give us a little bit of a like, um, I'll, I'll chuck it on the stand for you so you, you can see it a little bit better without the uh, sausage fingers in the way. But uh, yeah, you know the deal. I will uh, take some stills of this bad boy uh, without obviously these sausage fingers in the way and uh, you can check it out in all its all its metal glory and uh, yeah if you can spare those couple of seconds give us a bit of a like that'd be awesome and even sub subscribe to the channel if i can spit those words out um, it's hard to believe sometimes english is my first language but uh yeah all right guys thank you so much for uh checking out the video and sticking with me i hope you have a great rest of your day and cheers Thank mm -hmm. you.